Good morning, I'm Jim Walsh with your Town Square Media News Update, sponsored by America's Home Loans. Looking to purchase or refinance? Call America's Home Loans at 222-0100. They got him. A fugitive who fired at highway patrolman before bolting in a car with a child inside is now in custody. Uh, the child's okay, by the way. Daniel Michael Two Hearts has been taken in after a manhunt that started Friday. Following a series of car changes, Two Hearts had holed himself up with two hostages at an apartment complex in Devil's Lake. Police got the hostages out. They're fine. The bad guy tried to kill himself. He's now cuffed to a hospital bed in Grand Forks. A bill is proposed in the state Senate that would require legislators to complete at least four hours of what they're calling cultural competency hearing. Advocates say the idea is for legislators to better be able to connect with minorities in the state, including Native Americans. Don't hold your breath waiting for this one to pass. A rift has developed among opponents of the Dakota Access Pipeline between the North Dakota-based Native Americans and the faction of protesters from out of state. One spokesman for the Lakota community says he and his comrades are getting kind of fed up with what he calls the agitators. He says the agitators from out of state are the ones more likely to put up a fight, whereas the Native Americans, he says, believe in peaceful resistance. You still only have to be 18 to buy tobacco in North Dakota. On Friday, the state house shot down a bill that would have pushed the age limit up to 19. One sponsor said teens should at the very least be out of high school before being old enough to buy cigarettes. And your forecast, cloudy and near 20 today, snow showers and 5 above for tonight, partly sunny, near 10 tomorrow. That's your Town Square Media News Update.